ever wondered how to make a perfect pizza dough in just 19 minutes? Well, wonder no more because today, we're diving into the art of quick and easy pizza dough preparation. This skill is not only a time saver, but it also opens the door to a world of homemade pizza possibilities. From casual movie nights to spontaneous dinner parties, being able to whip up your own pizza dough is a game changer. Here's what you'll need. One and a half cups of bread flour, one teaspoon of instant yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two thirds of a cup of warm water or beer, and one tablespoon of olive oil. Simple, right? Now imagine impressing your guests with a pizza that's been made entirely from scratch, or enjoying a quiet night in with a pizza that's just the way you like it. By the end of this video, you'll be able to whip up your own perfect pizza dough in just 19 minutes. Let's get started. Before we start, it's essential to have all the necessary ingredients ready. Let's dive into our kitchen adventure by gathering everything we need for our 19 minute pizza dough. Firstly, we'll need one and a half cups of bread flour. An all purpose flour can also do the trick if that's what you have on hand. Flour is the backbone of our dough, providing structure and texture. Next up, we have one teaspoon of yeast. You can use either instant or active dry yeast. The yeast is our little helper, turning our dough from a dense mass into a light, airy delight. Then we have one teaspoon of sugar. The sugar is like the cheerleader for the yeast, giving it the energy it needs to do its job. We also need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Salt is the flavor amplifier, enhancing the taste of our other ingredients and adding its own subtle touch. Now let's talk about the liquid part of our dough. We need up to two thirds of a cup of warm water or beer. The temperature should be between 120 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit for instant yeast or 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit for active dry yeast. The liquid serves to combine our dry ingredients and create a workable dough. Lastly, we need one tablespoon of olive oil. The oil adds richness and keeps our dough nice and moist. It's always a good idea to have your ingredients measured and ready to go. This way you can focus on the fun part, mixing and kneading to create a perfect pizza dough. Now that we have all our ingredients, we're ready to start making the dough. So let's put on our aprons and get our hands a little floury. Our pizza masterpiece is just a few steps away. With all our ingredients in place, we can now start making the dough. First, let's address the foundation of our dough, the dry ingredients. These include bread flour, yeast, sugar, and salt. Bread flour is our preferred choice here because of its high protein content, which will give our crust that chewy texture we all love. But don't worry, all-purpose flour can also do the trick. As for the yeast, you can use either instant or active dry depending on what you have on hand. The sugar is going to feed our yeast and help it work its magic, while the salt will enhance the flavor of the crust. So, combine these ingredients in a mixing bowl, making sure they're well integrated. This creates a uniform base for our dough and ensures that every bite of our pizza crust has the same delightful flavor. Next, we're going to gradually add warm water and olive oil. Be careful with the water temperature, it needs to be warm, not hot, not cold. For instant yeast, aim for a temperature between 120 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're using active dry yeast, a slightly lower range of 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit is perfect. As for the olive oil, it's not just for flavor. It also helps to coat the flour, reducing the amount of gluten that forms. This gives us a dough that's easier to handle and results in a tender crust. Now, as you add the water and oil, you'll notice your dough starting to form a mass. You may not need all the water, so add it slowly. You're looking for a dough that's smooth, not sticky. If you're using a stand mixer with a dough hook, let it do its job until your dough is smooth and elastic, which should take about one to two minutes. If you're mixing by hand, blend the ingredients well, then turn your dough out onto a floured surface and give it several good kneads. With these steps, we've started forming our pizza dough. Now that our dough has started to form, it's time for the kneading process. Kneading is a simple yet crucial step in making a perfect pizza dough. It's all about working the dough to develop the gluten, which gives your pizza that delightfully chewy texture we all adore. If you're using a stand mixer, attach the dough hook. Let the machine do the work for you. It should take around one to two minutes. You're looking for the dough to be smooth and elastic. It should pull away from the sides of the bowl but remain slightly sticky. Now, if you're doing it by hand, it's a bit more of a workout, but equally effective. Transfer the dough onto a floured surface. Use the heel of your hand to push the dough away from you, then fold it back over itself. Rotate the dough a quarter turn and repeat. This process should take about a minute. While kneading, don't be tempted to add too much flour. A slightly sticky dough results in a lighter, airier pizza crust. So, embrace the stickiness. How do you know when you've kneaded enough? There's a simple test. Press your finger into the dough. If it springs back quickly, you're good to go. 
If it doesn't, give it a little more knead. Remember, kneading is not just about shaping the dough, it's also about developing its texture and flavor. So don't rush this step. Embrace the process. It's all part of the joy of making pizza from scratch. With the dough kneaded and smooth, it's time for it to rest. Cover it with a damp or floured towel. The process up to this point should put us at nine minutes. Now it's time to allow the gluten to relax for 10 minutes, making it easier to shape your pizza later on, but more on that in the next step. For now, pat yourself on the back. You've just kneaded your way to a perfect pizza dough. The resting phase is crucial for our pizza dough. It's the moment when magic happens. Our dough, tired from all the kneading, gets a chance to relax, allowing the gluten strands to shorten and the dough to become pliable. This is what makes our pizza crust light, airy, and just the right kind of chewy. Now let's talk about storing our dough. If you're not going to use it in the short 19 minute time frame, it's perfectly fine. Letting the dough rest for a while enhances its flavor. If you're planning to use it within the hour, simply cover the dough with a clean kitchen towel and let it sit at room temperature. If you wanna store it for later, say, for a pizza party tomorrow, you can certainly do so. All you need to do is lightly grease a bowl with some olive oil, place your dough in it, and cover it with plastic wrap. Make sure to leave some room for the dough to expand. This greased environment will prevent the dough from sticking to the sides of the bowl and the plastic wrap. If you need pizza dough now, use it immediately for a quick and delicious pizza crust. Simply form your desired shape by using your fingers and pushing the dough out and add your favorite toppings. Or you can let it rest for up to an hour for a more relaxed pizza making experience. If you're planning ahead, you can refrigerate it for up to three days. And here's a tip. Refrigerating the dough overnight enhances and develops additional flavor and texture, making your pizza even more delicious. When it's time to bake, you have options. If you're using a pizza pan, bake in a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. If you're using a pizza stone, bake at 500 degrees Fahrenheit on a well preheated stone for seven to 10 minutes. And there you have it, a perfect pizza dough in just 19 minutes. With this dough, every day can be a pizza day. Enjoy your homemade pizza adventure?